In December 2019, Chinese authorities notified the world that a new virus was spreading through their communities. In the following months, the virus identified as a new type of coronavirus began rapidly spreading to countries, causing what is now known as COVID-19 or the coronavirus disease of 2019. As the virus traveled out of China and proliferated across the globe, it began changing form or mutating, leading to distinct versions of the virus. Now scientists have been able to tell these versions apart by peering into the genetic material of the virus. The findings show that the new coronavirus is mutating and evolving as it adapts to its human hosts. Kenyan scientist Dr. Moses Masika says the fact that the virus is mutating is not a cause for alarm because all viruses mutate as part of their life cycle. What the research study seems to indicate is that um, there was a mutation which seems to confer the ability of this virus to infect people much more easily um, or as compared to what was there before. And so gradually we see the new strain replacing the previous or the original strain that started in the world. The scientists in the U.S. tracked genetic mutations in the spike of the new coronavirus, the part that gives it its distinctive shape. They found 14 such mutations, one of which they say was of urgent concern as it may be becoming dominant and may make the disease more infectious. Another set of scientists from University College London also found 198 mutations from a sample of 7,500 infected patients around the world, but said none appear to be particularly worrying at this stage. What we expect is that viruses that are able to infect better than others will be selected for what we call natural selection. So if the virus is better at infecting human cells, then it is the one that is likely to become dominant in the population. But this may not necessarily translate into severe disease. It may not necessarily uh, affect the, how the immune system fights the virus. This is information that we still need to, be, to generate with time. According to this study, in most of the countries, including Australia, the U.S., Canada and even Asian countries outside China. The original Wuhan stain initially affected the population. However, as soon as a new strain came into the new regions, it took over rapidly and affected far more people in much less time. Does it mean it's what we are, we saw, we are seeing in New York and perhaps what may have been in Italy or this is totally different? When uh, observe the strain in Europe taking um, or causing more infections than the original one, and the same thing occurs in, 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 in the US, it seems to show or it seems to confirm that the new virus is easier to transmit than the original one. Uh, but again, in the backdrop of uh, the information available, they are not analyzing all the viruses. So we don't know if this is the only one or if there are others or if um, it has completely replaced the original one. Scientists around the world are currently racing to find a vaccine that is effective and safe. So far, there are more than 100 vaccine candidates in development worldwide, and some are already in clinical trials. How does this affect uh, vaccine development? This is a question that is on many of our minds, that if you have too many strains in circulation, it may mean that a vaccine may need to change often or may need to um, be broader in nature so that it includes many of these strains. So these are the things that a vaccine developer will be looking at. Dr. Masika says there is need to keep collecting the genetic information, uploading it into databases and linking it to clinical information to know the particular sequence. Pamela Sigi, Citizen TV.